What's up, everybody? Necromancer. Ah, undead. Recycling dead bodies. I don't know. what it, That's what necromancers do, right? Oh, it's late. Oh, man, it's late. All right, here we go. Hope you guys had a good Halloween. You know. I put a bowl of candy out and somebody just stole it all. But I did the same thing when I was a kid, so I can't blame them. It's all right. Anyway, let's get on to this painting, huh? So. We have a dude with a giant scythe. And. Corpses. So. Thinking about his armor, you know, uh, I was doing a lot of research on like medieval armor and realistic armor, and I've been incorporating slowly those into those ideas into more of my fantasy stuff. Uh, you know, the different pieces of like the chest and, you know, how everything connects. Like he's not just going to have bare arms underneath because he doesn't have anything to connect his pauldrons to. So he's got to have a, a gambeson underneath with like attachment points and um, if you guys can, you should, uh, you know, do some research on that stuff. Cause I don't know. I find it super interesting. And if anybody knows of any like badass medieval channels on YouTube, like send them my way, put them in the comments and let me know because I've been all about that stuff recently. Um, I wanted to go for, uh, some sort of scarification kind of design on him. He's got it like embedded into his head and his forehead. I'm going to put some on his hands. It's all over his armor, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, but that, that little design motif will just continue throughout the entire character and that'll help to sort of tie them together. Also, I should tell you to go buy the app handy because it is super handy. Surprise. You can pose hands, you can pose skulls. Um, you can pose heads, Asaro heads, all that stuff. You can light them and then you can screenshot them to either use as reference or sometimes I just throw them directly into my painting. So you'll see a couple points where, um, you know, they actually just drop in here and I just paint over them. But that app is brilliant. So check it out. I also need to stop painting people with shaved heads. I mean, I need another hairstyle. I just think it looks so cool. It makes everybody look like such a badass, and I just I love it. So with this painting, you know, usually I'm kind of like laying my flats and then do a multiply layer with my shadows and another screen layer for my uh, highlights and stuff, but... Nope. This time I just put in that flat layer, flattened my lines down onto it and decided to just kind of wing it for better or for worse. Uh, I just wanted something more relaxing. Sometimes, sometimes it's more relaxing just to paint and not care. So that's what I did. And it was fun. I usually advise against not doing your background first as well. But in this case, I at least laid down um, like a main background color so that I can base all of my, you know, human saturation stuff off of that. Um, like the books, for example, right? The books are brown. But if you were to color pick those books, they are blue. They're just not as saturated. That's the weirdness of color. It's, you know, so relative. So that's why it's important to have a background in, or at least like a background color in. Oh yeah, so there's a hand. And it is currently way too big, but we will adjust it. I really feel like I missed an opportunity to paint a dead, like, zombie dude in a tuxedo for this because they should be wearing like formal wear so I put them in kind of like suit jackets and stuff but I was like man 
I don't know, is a bow tie too much? <laughs> Probably. Okay, so if you check out, if you need to rewind, do it. But um, all this smoky stuff, the way I paint that is I just put in a base and then I get a smudge tool and I set it to like a really, really high value and then I smudge it like crazy and kind of carve out in and out of it. And that's how I get all of that magic effect. Oh, I should also mention too, I'm painting this in um, Art Studio Pro. I've been obsessed with it lately. I think it's a really good app and um, it does a couple things really that I can't live without now. And that is uh, to color pick. I just hold my pen or my, my Apple pencil, hold that on the screen instead of using a finger. Like I just stop drawing and it'll color pick. And then the other thing I do now is if I slide a finger anywhere on the canvas up and down, it increases and reduces my brush size. And then if I slide a finger left or right, it adjusts opacity. Although I don't really use that very often. I just use full opacity. But um, I can't live without that now. Like, it's so amazing. So I got my background kind of blocked in. Oh, and there's some skulls. Those are from Handy, and so are the hands. And I'm just going to use those to paint over them. Right now I kind of eyeballed the placement of the uh, the skulls in the background, but I'm going to go and draw in some perspective lines going from my main character's head to kind of estimate this, them to be like a similar height. Yeah, and, and from this point, honestly, there's so much like tweaking and like small adjustments. And a lot of that is me just trying to balance like the values of the, 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 the characters in the foreground versus the tombstones versus the main character versus the background. They all need to have like defined silhouettes that can still read, but at the same time, like, you know, you don't want them to look like they're cut out. So, you know, like that hand I just moved, I moved it inside of the tombstone just so that like the fingers read better because they were kind of getting mixed up with like his uh, cloak. Yeah, Angry Skeleton Man. I'm just also going to duplicate these guys and flip them and then kind of adjust and paint over each one. And that way I can kind of double down on them. But yeah, after this, it's just kind of little adjustments here and there to finish it off. Oh, and I repainted the arm because the arm was driving me crazy. There wasn't enough, like, um, volume. His, like, forearm felt all tiny and stuff, so. This is always, like, the fun part of a painting when I get here where it's, like, I'm starting to, uh, I don't do all these cool, like, finishing touches and stuff, but, man, they go fast in these videos. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So, you know, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. If you want to see something else, you want me to paint something next month, like, just hit me up. Let me know. Thanks.